Hey guys, it's Nakia Jordan and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys why I decided to get my CDO at 21 and how I got my CDO. I'm gonna also share with you guys some advice, some of my, you know, thoughts and feelings in regards to um, how it's been so far. What kind of made me want to become a truck driver or even consider it, you know? <laughs> and um, yeah, so with that being said, let's hop straight into the video. So first things first, the reason why I got into trucking at the age of 21 is because of job security. And if you hear that a lot, that is actually true. Trucking and having like your CDL, your actual CDL license is really like your meal ticket, it's really like your golden ticket. You know, a lot of people refer to your CDL license as different things, but I honestly feel the same exact way. I really do feel like having your CDL or your CDL license really is your gold ticket. So another reason why I got into trucking, which is another big, big one, um, was for consistent money for saving, investing, and enhancing. So I know you guys probably like, okay, Kia, that's a lot. But look, the reason why I wanted to have consistent, stable money um, was because I am an entrepreneur and um, I do make good money with what I do already with professional photography, videography, and all of the other things that I'm into, like graphics, I mean covers. But, um, <laughs> but no, nah, seriously, on a serious tip, um, I am already kind of in a profession, career, you know, hobby, I guess you would call it, that make me decent money. So I just wanted something that's a little bit more stable, something that actually like benefit me long term you know what i mean so i decided to get into trucking i feel like trucking was like a no-brainer when it came to like what would be the best option for me even though you sit a lot with trucking to me that was like really good because i'm like you know what i can make youtube videos i can shoot content i'm traveling like i don't know it was just so many pros with trucking when i first had the idea or thought about becoming a truck driver that was the biggest biggest thing with me having consistent stable easy money so like my third biggest reason on why i wanted to become a truck driver was for travel um i feel like it's a lot of places that i've seen on tour but i feel like seeing them by myself and exploring them by myself and like planning things or planning resets in different cities and different states if i can you know just being able to maybe have the potential to plan different trips or different things to do in different states and stuff when i'm taking loads or dropping loads in these different cities or these different states like to be able to just travel and like see what's out there Not just that but traveling on the dime of a company being able to simply travel this thing with me is i work with different artists and most of my clients they are in different cities they're in different states they're in different areas so i feel like trucking would really bring me closer to my clients that are out of town or out of state or my clients that have to fly in to shoot with me like i feel like trucking is going to help me maybe to be able to get to my clients where you know they don't have to spend their money to come shoot they don't have to spend their money to come travel to me and shoot you see what i'm saying like i wanted to just kind of make it easier on myself and definitely make it easier on my clients and for my clients this is us headed out as you can see we stopped to grab some chick-fil-a my trainer always makes sure that we eat good on the truck so you know i really appreciate him for his hospitality Something that I also want to talk to you guys about on like some of the reasons why I became a truck driver. However, I want to talk to you guys about like um, this reason because I forgot to mention it earlier in the video. I truly want to be debt free when it comes to everything. I want to have little to no bills and having like no bills completely is kind of impossible unless you're like a SB or something, <laughs> you know, so I don't know, but um yeah i just really want to um build myself up to a point where i'm having little to no bills and i'm making great money something else to consider is um you know i'm going through this phase in my life where i'm still learning myself as a woman i'm still figuring out more of becoming a woman and you know for some women you know it clicks for them but for me it's like i have to find my way and i feel like trucking gives me time to find my way in this world especially as a young adult you know not just growing into a woman but you know becoming a young adult and so like to me i think a lot of people don't talk about this when it comes to women um sometimes i 
think, you know, men don't even understand it. But the reason that I feel like being a woman is hard because the woman is typically the prize. And um, don't take that the wrong way when I say that, guys. Oh, my God. But um, with women typically being the prize, we have to have things to be the prize for. You see what I'm saying? And nobody talk about how hard it is finding yourself as a woman. And a lot of times men like women who are found, meaning that, Women who are healed, women who know what they want in life, women who are go-getters, women who um, know kind of just who they are in a sense. And although I know who I am, it's a lot of things that I want to grow into, you know, as a young woman. And I'm not afraid to admit that, you know, some people try to make it seem bad, like they're scared to talk about it. But me, you know, I admit that, you know, a lot of things that I don't know or don't know how to do yet, you know, I'm learning to do the older I get. You know, it's a lot of things I'm beginning to understand and learn going into my own dream moment. So with that being said, let's get into how exactly I obtained my CDL license. First, I started by, you know, studying to obtain my CDL permit. Your CDL permit is what you have to have in order to obtain a CDL license. And basically, your CDL permit allows you to be taught in a commercial motor vehicle. I obtained my CDL permit by one, finding and gathering all of the materials and information that was needed to pass my written tests because your CDL permit tests are written tests. So I kind of just gathered and obtained all of the information that I needed to pass my CDL permit test. Then once I gathered all of the information, I set a date with the DMV. I actually went online and scheduled a CDL permit test with my local DMV and then I began to actually study for my CDL permit test. The reason that I was able to obtain my CDL license in a timely manner was because I actually disciplined myself. So one, gather the information, two, set the date, three, study your material, and four, take the test. That's the four things that I did to obtain my CDL permit. Now, that was before February 7th of 2021 came in. Um, I obtained my CDL permit before the new rules and regulations of, you know, getting your CDL permit and license and all of that stuff. Um, now, it's a little bit more challenging um, and more things are required to obtain your CDL, but that's the four ways that I obtained my CDO. So between me and my subscribers, if anyone is interested, all of the material that was on the test, I have as a study guide, literally. Like school, how they used to give us those study guides. <laughs> I was a geek in school, so I know how to like gather information, like valuable information and tuck it, you know. So um, if you guys don't know where to look or don't know how to put together information to study for your CDL permit, a lot of people recommend using the CDL apps and all of that. But I took the test. I've seen the questions. I know the answers. I've seen the answers. Um, I also gather information from the Internet, from schools, um, from people who I know have CDL schools that I'm connected to. And I just made my own study guide. All of the information in my study guide will take you from passing your permit to your license to your driving test, all the way up into advice and tips your entire journey. So as I go along in my trucking journey, the things that I learn, things that make my trucking life easy, things that I figure out, find out ways to make certain things easier to remember, you know, just having that free game or just having that information always available to you, you know, that's something that I want to accomplish through this study guide. That's why I call it like the unlimited study guide. So you guys are basically never lack information. That plays a major role with me, you know, being sure that we never lack information when it comes to certain things in trucking. So just as I'm going along and figuring things out, just making sure that we up on game. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to just show your support,